Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and uh, today I've got a special video showing you guys how I record my videos. All of you guys are always asking me how I do it, so here it is, the special video showing you guys how I record my videos. Um, we are in an app called Show, um, very useful app, it's, uh, it's great, I love it. Um, it's not an app you can find in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or uh, Android Store, or whatever you guys use. Um, it's an app that you have to get off of Safari or whatever browser you guys have on your device. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, it might be different for Android and stuff. This is only going to be strictly for iOS, um, Apple users and stuff. So um, I'm sure you guys can find other stuff if you're on Android and whatnot. But uh, I guess we'll begin with the tour and uh, I'll, I'll definitely walk you guys through how to download it, all the components, what you need, the requirements, all that stuff, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. So like I said, we're in the app show. This is what it looks like over here from the um, home screen of your device. Um, you're also going to need another app called the EMU for iOS Store. Um, I'll show you guys how to download both of those in a second. Uh, as you guys can see up in the top, there's a red bar, uh, a banner, whatever you want to call it, going across the top of the screen. This is so helpful. Um, it basically just, it, it kind of just tells you that the app is still working in the background and, uh, you know, if you're doing, you know, doing your gameplay and going throughout your business, you'll still know that, you know, it's still recording because there will be the banner up top. Now, the only thing about that is when you go into a game or something, um, the banner will disappear. I mean, if you go into Safari, it's still there. But um, if you go into something else like, you know, Minecraft Pocket Edition or something, the banner will most likely disappear. Um, but uh, don't, you know, don't worry. It's usually always recording. I mean, you can do test runs and stuff to make sure that it is. But, um, you know, whatever. So we can go over to the recording section. Um, actually, you know what? Never mind. Uh, there's two. There's two tools basically. There's the start broadcasting and the start recording tool. The start broadcasting button is basically you can set up a server kinda and uh, live stream to um, whatever platform you choose. I mean I'm pretty sure you can um, live, live stream to Twitch, maybe YouTube, I'm not really sure. I never use the broadcasting tool but um, I mostly just use the recording, uh, the recording section which is pretty self-explanatory. You know, press it to start recording, press it to stop recording, Pretty simple. Um, can't really mess that one up. And that's it for the home page, really, of the app. This is just, uh, you know, the home page, really. So we have the recording section. Um, these are your uh, all your saved videos that you recorded. It's got the file name, the time, and the um, the uh, the memory, the data, whatever you want to call it. I, uh, whatever this video is up here is seven megabytes so um so what you can do with these videos you can play them you can open them in several of your apps you can save it to the camera roll or you can simply just delete it um this is just a video that i just put on just to show you guys a little of what i'm doing right now so it's nothing too special um there's a more section you can log out i'm pretty sure that you're gonna have to make like a login it's super simple. I think you just throw in an email and that's it. Um, you got your FAQ, you got your show website, Twitter page, Facebook page, Google Plus page, uh, privacy policy, terms of service, version, copyright, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. Um, also, if we go over to the settings page, we can also check out... Um, let me see here. Show. Um, no, wait. Maybe not over here. Um... I think, if, okay, I think, um, I don't think I can show you this right now, but um, when you're not recording and you're just on the page, there will be like a little, um, like a little question mark button you press on, and uh, that can give you your settings like uh, what, like, uh, like what, um, like what video size you want, HD, um, stuff like that, if you want to record the video, like landscape or portrait, stuff like that. Um, that can all be, uh, accessed once, you know, you're not recording. Obviously, you can't change those settings during the recording process, so that's why we can't see it right now. But, um, so that's basically everything for the app mechanics. Now, this is very important, very, very important. You might want to write this down. Um, you have to have assistive touch on to be able to, 
record um, during any sort of uh, game or app or anything. You can you cannot have assistive touch on if you want to just record like your um, home screen or I'm pretty sure Safari would work. Um, like if you want to you know show you recording in your messages or your emails or something strange like that. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't need it, but if you want to play any sort of app or game or anything, you're going to need to have this assistive touch on. And I know it's annoying, but um, honestly, I don't really even notice. I just throw it up in the top hand corner. It disappears after like five, ten seconds, and then, you know, boom, you don't even really see it. And uh, it doesn't bother bother me. So, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to download it. Super simple. You want to go to your Safari, and you're going to want to type in... EMU for iOS. So you want to click on that. It's no jailbreak, by the way. Um, no jailbreak, so you don't have to worry about it. So um, you're going to want to download the EMU for iOS store. Once you download that, you're going to be in there. And, um, whoops. Uh, I'm not sure if I can enter that while I'm recording. That's the thing. Um, you're going to, you're going to have, basically you're going to have to download the EMU for iOS store first before you can download any of these other stuff like iRec, uh, Shio obviously, and the rest of these things, which I'm not really sure what they are. Um, GBA for iOS and all that stuff. That's all part of the EMU for iOS store. So if you want to go over, you can go into, and, uh, I'm pretty sure none of these work if I'm not, if I'm not, um, if I'm recording, I'm not sure. I think they do. Um, actually, no, I think I know what's wrong. I, I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, it's it's not really like a major deal, but it's something that I should probably go over. Um, so basically, if your iPad or your phone or whatever shuts off, it'll reset. Um, and these apps are kind of uh, uh, under the radar, if you want to say. So like, it's not an app where like, Basically, Apple doesn't really condone these apps. It's not like something that they're they're happy about. I guess you know you could say in simple simple terms. So when you download these apps, like if you try to download it right now and it's not working, yeah, you and you're having some problems, um, you're gonna have to go into your settings and you're gonna have to go over to the general and you're gonna want to go down to date and time. And you're going to want to set the time back. Basically, um, I'm not really sure what the exact date, time, and all that stuff is. I always just throw my time back anywhere um, past 2013. I don't know. I usually just throw it back to, like, 2012. I usually just go like that until it lands somewhere good. Like, boom. Nah, that's not good. Never mind. Um, like... That's probably not good. I think it has to be before twenty, before February of 2013. So just throw it back anywhere 2012. You should be fine. And uh, it should be able to download perfectly that way. Um, and like I said, if your Apple device dies or you shut it off, it'll reset. And then if you want to go back into those apps, like I'll, I'll try it right now and we'll see. Um, so like I was saying, if your Apple device dies or shuts off, um, it'll reset and you won't be able to enter the apps unless you set your time back whoa 2005 that's a little too far um unless you set your time back to like i said 2012 or anywhere around that day um and then you can go back and uh, re-enter those apps like watch it'll probably work right now there you go see um that's the problem so i'm pretty sure my ipad died sometime and i forgot to go back in and uh I'm not really sure what the problem with that one is right now, but I'll figure that out sometime soon. Anyway, the important thing is EMU for iOS Store is open, and basically when you go in here, um, this is what you download from the site. You can go in here and you can install Show, which I've already done. Um, you can go in and download the rest of these, all these things, uh, iRec, uh, Feature Points, Stone, iTransmission. I'm not really sure what any of those are, but um, a lot of you tech tech guys out there probably uh, could find good uses for those and stuff so um when you go to the website that i just showed you oh oh wait maybe not i'm not really sure what the problem with that one is right now but maybe i'll have to read redownload it or something so anyway when you're on this website boom emu for iowa store press get right over here and once you get that 
it's going to bring you to this. You go in here, click on show, install all the rest of the stuff you want, install all of them. Bam, there you go, and you have show. Just click on it, go through the steps I told you guys before, and it's super simple. That's all you got to do. And then you can record on your stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I went over all the basics, any sort of problem you could run into. Um, I've been using this for a couple months now. It's great. Um, I've never had any problems. It's been super good. The audio is great. Um, it's never crashed. It's never not recorded a video. It's, um, it's just, it's been super good. So I don't think you guys should have any problems, um, unless you're on, like, I'm on, I'm on an iPad Air 1 right now, and, um, it's a couple, it's a year and a half old, uh, close to two years. So, um, it's, um, it's, it's, it's an older iPad, I guess, if you want to say, but, um, it works fine. It works great. Um, I think you have to be on, let me see, because that's the thing, you can't, I don't think you can be on iOS 1.8, uh, iOS 8 or whatever it is. Let me just, let me just go and check real quick. Software update. Where do we go for that? Usage, maybe? General? Somewhere. About. I think it's an about, right? Uh, yeah, I'm on version 7.1.2. 7 7 I don't think you can be on, um on version 8, 8.0 or whatever. I don't think you can be on iOS 8. So you have to be on any version before iOS 8. So that's the thing. So, um, whoops. So, uh, so yeah. So that's basically it for the show app. Um, like I said, I pretty much covered every single, uh, thing that I could think of that I've ever really run into. And, um, Honestly, if you guys are gonna record and upload to YouTube, I would get iMovie as well. It's a couple of dollars, but it's not that much, and you get a lot for what you pay for it. Um, that's where I edit my videos and stuff, and it's 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 a really good editing tool. It's got a lot of great stuff. It's a really good app. Um, a lot of good features on it. It's just it's a really good um, thing to use if you're gonna edit a lot of your videos and stuff. So I'd recommend getting Show, iMovie, and then once you once you take your once you take your recordings from iMovie, I always save them to the camera roll, then go straight over to iMovie, edit them the way I want them, save them to the camera roll again, and then go straight to my YouTube app and upload them that way. And then there, it's it's as simple as that. Um, so like I said, I pretty much covered as, as many problems that I could think you guys could run into, but you guys always find a way to surprise me and come up with all these crazy other things that I've never even heard of, so, um, just throw any problems you guys can think of into the, uh, into the comment section below, um, any comments, questions, concerns, anything you guys have, just throw them down there, I'll try my best to read every single comment, well, I'll read every single comment, I'll try my best to find answers to any of your questions, and, uh, you know, whatever you guys have to say, I'll, I'll research a little bit about it, and I'll try and help you guys out, um, so until then, uh, that's the show app. Hopefully you guys find that useful and find it helpful. I know that's going to be a heartbreaker that you have to be below iOS 1.8. At least that's what I believe. You guys can go and try it for yourselves. Um, that's just my assumption. Don't take my word on it. But um, I'm pretty sure you have to. But I'm not sure. So, um, But anyway, that's the show app. Hopefully you guys uh, find it very useful. And um, if you guys did, if it worked out, great good leave it in the comments i want to see some feedback and um yeah so that's pretty much it thanks for watching and subscribe peace